hello everyone and um, this is a lesson on inflation so the first thing that we're gonna do we're gonna look at the definition of inflation and then i'm gonna do examples of questions that you may get in an exam that are related to inflation okay the first part the inflation is the general progressive increase in price of goods and services in an economy so when they say the general uh, increase progression it means every year things will go up your goods and your services will go up uh, the price will go up what you could buy with 2000 rents this year next year it will be less you need to to put in more money that's the definition of inflation and then there's a um, concept that's related to inflation which is consumer price index so the consumer price index is the cost of living it could go up or go down but if the inflation goes up the consumer price index also goes up so let's look at the first example right example one uh, this person tandy spent 500 rand for catering for her family dinner part but this year the same ingredients cost 535 so the first question is what was percentage increase on the ingredients so with percentage increase we're going to use a formula to calculate the percentage increase the formula says the change in percentage is equals to the new amount or the new um, price minus the original one divided by the original one multiplied by 100 percent so the change sometimes it will go up the answer will be positive and sometimes it will go down when you get an answer that's negative it means the percentage change has decreased so in this question because it's inflation, inflation, the price um, goes up. So we are expecting to get a positive answer. The new amount, it's 535 minus the original amount was 500 divided by the original amount, which is 500 multiplied by the 100%. Usually this formula will get in your question paper, right? And then let's take our calculator and multiply so you have 535 minus 500 equals to divide by 500 and then multiply it by 100 percent so the answer that you get it's seven percent so it means from 500 originally you had 500 from 500 this year next day it costs 535 it means it has increased by seven percent b the cpi which is the consumer price index for this year uh, is six percent for the year where she was buying these ingredients is six percent how did the percentage increase on the goods she bought compare to the consumer price index the consumer price index is six percent the goods that she bought, it's 7%. So it means that the goods that she bought are 1% more than the consumer price index because the consumer price index is 6%. Let's look at example two. My example says you have 1,000 to spend on clothes but decide to save it to spend next year. The inflation rate that year or the next year will be seven percent so our question is what would one thousand worth worth of clothes cost in a year's time if the inflation will be seven percent the following year so it means we must calculate how much seven percent what is seven percent of one thousand so it means it will be seven percent more the following year Okay, let's look at the formula that we've used before. You remember this formula that helps us to calculate a percentage. It says part divided by total is equals to percentage divided by 100. So in this question, we are given the total, which is 1,000. We are also given the percentage, which is 7%. So we are calculating the part of 1,000. What percentage, how much would it be? So... We'll have part is equals to 
the amount is 1000 the percentage is 7 divided by 100 then we cross multiply you remember you are cross multiplying in grade 8 so it means it will be part times 1000 is equals to 7 times uh, it's part times 100 this 100 and 7 times 1000 then we divide both by 100 divide both by 100 it means the 7 percent of 1000 will be 7 times 1000 divided by then it's 7 70 runs but we have not answered our question our question was what would 1000 worth of goods cost in a new year so goods will cost it was costing 1000 rents this year plus the 70 rents at 7% of 1000 so it means the following year the goods will cost 1000 and 70 rents so this is what inflation will do will make things the price to go up so if you would buy something for seven for thousand rands this year, if it goes up by seven percent, the inflation is goes up by seven percent. So the following year it will cost you one thousand and seventy rands. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.